Hi, welcome to One Way TV. And guess what? This is episode 200. So who would have thought that back when we did episode one or two or three, that we would reach episode 200. But here we are. So thank you for watching everybody. Thanks for your support. Hopefully you have enjoyed something and that you've moved along in your walk with God. We've certainly enjoyed uh, bringing them to you. So thank you to all our guest speakers over the years. Thank you for everyone who's watched and let's just continue. So make sure you tell your friends onewaytv.org 7 p.m. Friday and 9 a.m. Sunday and keep watching. Thank you and we'll see you later. Bye. Heroes by Super Chick. It was produced a few years ago, but the words are still relevant. The chorus goes, heroes are made when you make a choice. You could be a hero, heroes do what's right. You could be a hero, you might save a life. You could be a hero, you could join the fight for what's right. Often when we think about heroes, we think about people who are famous, people who are on TV, or sporting heroes. Heroes are generally people who've done something that other people think is good. People look up to them because they've done something that one day they dream about doing, or they've done something that has inspired them. However, when we talk about heroes, there seems to be no way that most of us could ever be heroes. Most people are not going to be movie stars, play for Australia, or be a TV star. But while most of us won't be heroes like movie stars or sporting heroes, etc., we can all be heroes. Heroes are simply people who have made the right choice and have done what's right. Making right choices isn't always about the big things. At this time, there's many people who can't work due to the restrictions placed upon us by the government. There's restrictions placed on us in terms of doing the things we enjoy, the sport we play, having visitors over, or gathering together with friends. There's even restrictions on believers of any faith gathering together. This type of environment means that many people are doing it tough. For some, their whole world is turned upside down. For others, they wonder where the next paycheck will come from, or the next meal, or how they'll manage to pay their bills. During this time, it gives us the perfect opportunity to be a hero. A kind word, a friendly gesture, a hello. We can come alongside by sending them a message, giving them a call, or dropping some food parcels to them. If you think of somebody, make a choice and reach out to them. Offer a word of encouragement or a helping hand. Be a hero to them. This action may change somebody's day. It could even just save a life. We're always faced with choices. Every day in our lives, we're faced with choices and each choice that we make has the ability to, cha the, has the ability to change people's lives. The choices we make can and do influence other people. Whether we like it or not, people are looking up to us. They're watching what we're doing and looking to follow the choices we've made. You think nobody notices, but people are looking up to you. You might think that what you do doesn't affect anybody else, but your brother or sister might be watching, trying to be like you, or your children, your grandchildren, 
or if friends might be watching. Other people are looking up to you and me, so we need to be making a choice to do what's right. Each day we have a chance to be a hero. Each day we have a chance to positively influence people's lives by making a choice and doing what's right. As we go about our lives in the community, we need to stand up for what's right. We need to bring transformation to this community because we choose to stand up, be heroes and fight for what's right. By doing this, we can see our community be transformed. It can be changed. By being everyday heroes, embracing God's plan for our lives, we can change the world. You can change the world. The best example of a hero, of course, was Jesus. Jesus embraced God's will for his life and chose to go and die on the cross for each one of us. He made a choice. He made a choice to do what was right and joined the fight for what was right. His choice that day has now saved anybody who calls on his name from an eternity in hell. Jesus' work went beyond the cross, though. He embraced the cross, and that made him a hero. But after the cross, he rose from the dead, and he left the Holy Spirit so that we could do the work with the Holy Spirit's help. So just like Jesus, we need to embrace the cross, and then we need to go out and be heroes to the other people with the help of the Holy Spirit. We need to share the gospel with others, We need to be heroes for other people. We need to join the fight for what's right. And we can only do that when we embrace all that God has for us and not just stop halfway. It's a choice you make to fulfill God's plan for your life. It's a choice Jesus made and the cross was only half the story. So you are a hero to others. You can be, you are, you will be. Other people look up to you. So you need to do what's right. You think nobody notices, but yet people are looking up to you. And you're bigger than you think you are. You have lots of potential. So take a step today and be a hero to somebody today. Give them a shout out, give them a wave, give them a hello, send them a text message. You have lots of potential and you can be a hero today. Thanks everyone and... Make sure you send us your testimonies of where you've been a hero. See ya.
Let's jump into our prayer corner. Lord God, we bring our nation before you. Thank you for the abundance that you've given us, for the beautiful landscapes, the wide open spaces and fresh air, for the diversity from coast to coast, the deserts, rainforests and mountains, the lakes and plains and varied flora and fauna. You have blessed us with this amazing country, with nature's gifts of beauty, rich and rare. We pray for unity, a coming together of all citizens of this nation, with a common purpose and vision, united by your Holy Spirit. We pray that this nation would again honour you in all that it does, that it would place you at the highest place, and we ask for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that would touch, change and transform lives so that they live for you. We lift our political leaders before you, that they would come under the conviction of the Holy Spirit and that they would begin to work on your agenda for this nation, not someone else's, and just working for our good, not the good of the unelected foreigners. We ask that those not working for the best of this nation would turn from their wicked ways or remove themselves from office. Father, we ask that small businesses which honour your name and principles, which are the lifeblood of our nation, would enjoy your protection, that they would prosper and continue to stand for your values. We pray blessing on those businesses that don't go woke and promote fairness and good values. Help us as your body, Lord, to discern your voice, to hear your voice clearly and to never follow the voice of the enemy. Lord, give us boldness to follow your voice when you call. Make the body of Christ willing and obedient to make your ways known to this nation. May we show our faith through the way we live as a light that pierces through the darkness. Lord, we declare again that this is the great south land of the Holy Spirit. We call this nation back to you. We call the prodigals back to you and look forward to seeing your spirit move across this nation. Amen. We hope you enjoyed our show this week. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you set your alarm for next week, 7 p.m. Friday, 9 a.m. Sunday, and share the link onewaytv.org with all your friends. Have a great week and happy Australia Day. Jesus says in Matthew 11:28, Come to me, all you who are wearied and burdened, and I will give you rest.